if you ever wanted to run OV on a low VRAM GPU, now you can. <sighs> Aren't we going to test out my car in glorious 10 second OV mode? Hey, Gaga, check it out. We finally get enough time to hit second gear. Isn't my piggy basically a cinematic universe now? I'll show you exactly how to set it up, how to get clean 10 second clip, and how different step settings change the quality. Before you open the workflow, you need to place the correct files in the correct folders. If even if one file is missing, Comfy UI will fail to load the model. The first file you need is Ven 2.2 VAE file. Your OV reuses this VAE for video decoding, so this is required. Download the Ven 2.2 VAE and save it inside your Comfy UI's models folder and then inside the VA folder. Next, you need the text encoder. This is the model that reads your prompt. So here you'll see two versions, BF16 and FP8. If your GPU has more VRAM, choose BF16. And if your VRAM is low, Choose FP8. Pick one of them and save it in Models, then Text Encoder folder. The third file is the main OV model. And look for the file named OV 960 by 960, then second FP8. The file size is around 12 GB. Download it and place it in Models and then Diffusion Model folder. Now, you also need two audio files. So here you need to understand, OV can generate audio along with the video. But it needs an audio VAE for that. So download MM Audio VAE FP32 and MM Audio VAE Coder FP32. Put both of them in the models and then VAE folder. Next, the last file is optional. This is a LoRa that helps you get clean results even when you use low steps. So save your LoRa inside the models and then LoRa folder. We'll use it later, so when we test low VRAM settings. So once all these files are in right place, open Comfy UI and load the OV workflow. This single workflow can do both text to video and image to video. So you don't need two separate graphs. So here at the top of the graph, open the when video model loader. Here, select the OV 10 second model file that you already downloaded. Set the precision based on the text encoder you have. If you downloaded the BF16 text encoder, select BF16 here. And if you have FP16, then select FP16. Leave the other settings as they are. Now, change the attention mode to Flash Attention 2. This works faster and uses less VRAM. And if your system can't run Flash Attention, then you can change it back to the default mode, but the speed will be slower. Next, scroll down to the when video VA loader. Here, select the when 2.2 VA file. Right below that, open the OV audio VA loader and choose the MM audio VA file and the MM audio VA coder file. Now the model can read and generate audio correctly. Inside the empty latent node for video, you'll see the resolution settings. This model supports three main sizes 960 by 960, 720 by 720, and 832 by 480. So, if you have a powerful GPU, definitely choose 960 by 960 for the best quality. For medium VRAM, use 720 by 720. And for low VRAM, you can try 832 by 8480.
right below that set the number of frames so if you want a 10 second clip at around 24 frames per second set the value to 241 now open the empty audio latent node and for a 10 second clip set the audio length to 314 these two numbers work together for a correct 10 second video if you change them randomly your audio and video may not stay in sync so you must take a note of it that these two numbers should be the same for a perfect 10 second video along with audio moving on open the when text encoder node and choose the umt5 encoder that you already downloaded inside the prompt box write your main scene describe what the person looks like and how they move for spoken lines place the text between s and e tags for example i want two sentences in my prompt so we'll write both these sentences as separate separate one so for audio behavior you can write something like audio clear female voice soft outdoor ambience this helps the model understand the tone and the environment now the workflow is already set for text to video so if you only want text to video you can start generating right away to switch from image to video load an image resize it to match your chosen resolution and then connect the video encoder output to the empty latent input also connect the width and height from your resize node to the empty latent node now the model will use your image as the base frame so now let me show you how the model behaves with different step counts here for the first test i used 50 steps with a cfg of 4 the output looked very good the face had strong details the lighting looked natural and the motion stayed smooth so this is the highest quality setting but it also takes the most time to render after that i generated another video again but with different step counts so now you can compare three versions side by side one at 50 steps one at 30 steps and last one at 20 steps the 50 step version looks the best but the difference is not huge the main change is the lighting on the face the 30 step and 20 step versions look very similar to each other and both are good options if you have no vram or you just want a faster render for the next test i tried 10 steps without the lora the 10 step video looks soft and loses details but when i turn on the lora and set the strength to 0 0.3 the same 10 step video becomes much cleaner the face stays sharper and the motion looks more stable so after testing text to video i tried image to video next for the first test i loaded a photo of a woman and a man standing on a boat looking at each other and as a result the scene looked good but the eyes were not perfect in the output this sometimes happen if the source image is not good so i here i changed the image in the second test i uploaded a different photo where both faces were clear and the eyes were easier for the model to understand and with the same settings here i got the cleaner results the eyes were sharp the expressions looked real 
and the motion felt more natural. So if you ever get strange eyes in image to video mode, do not change the workflow. Just upload a better source image and try again. Now let's test this with LoRa. Now I was at 20 steps with a CFG of 2 with the LoRa active. The result was clean and the motion stayed stable. After that, I dropped it even lower. I tested 10 steps with a CFG of 2. Again, using the same LoRa strength. This is where you can really see the benefit of LoRa. Normally, at 10 steps, the video looks similar with 50 steps and 20 steps. Let me give you the timing as well. The 20 step version took around 2 minutes and 26 seconds. The 10 step version took about 1 minute and 26 seconds. So in short, the LoRa allows you to run this model on a low VRAM GPU by using 10 steps. CFG of 2 and a LoRa strength of 0.3. You still get a clean 10 second video and the speed becomes very fast. So that's all for today's video. If you want more tutorials like this, you can subscribe and check the next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.